And yeah, I remember, yeah, it was like the day of closing we showed up. <laughs> like work hadn't quite been done yet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, work qu hadn't quite been done yet. We did have an agreement with them though that uh, work to be completed by this time afterwards. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go and talk about the uh, the day of closing though, because that was a little adventure in and of itself. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as you mentioned, the work hadn't been completed, but um, I think we discovered before that that uh, the seller was paying the contractors like not under the table, but uh, he was stringing them along with a couple of dollars here and there. So uh, we put a check, I think, in escrow to kind of help the contractor get paid and stuff. Um, so again, you know, something that we kind of discovered and, and you had a good solution for. Um, but yeah, so we got to uh, the closing day uh, and a lot of things, a lot of things were discovered that day. So yeah, work, we, we knew the work wasn't done. So we knew things hadn't been done. Um, and then all of their stuff was That's right. in, in the house. Uh, and I don't know what their intention was. We don't know anything about what they really meant to do with all of their personal belongings or if they didn't expect the sale to go through. Um, they just drove their feet and kind of kept their things in the house. They could have squatters rights. I, you know, it was, it was kind of uh, <laughs> interesting. So yeah, we had all of the, uh, all of their items in the house and we had to negotiate with them to take it out of the house. <laughs> like this, the process just didn't end until, uh, uh, you know, until the, the last bit. Um, and then uh, they finally agreed to get all their things out of the house. And I think they mostly did that, but then they also- They took everything. They took yeah. everything. That, they they, they, they just went from one end of the scale to the other. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, whether they did it in spite or they didn't understand, you know, um, you know, things that we weren't overly upset about uh, that they took, like the uh, the curtain rods and built-in shelving. There were several closets that we've noticed after the fact that they took um, screwed in shelves, uh, removed those. Sure, that's fine. You know, like I said, you know, these are things that didn't really. It's inconvenient, yeah. but we, that's fine. Yeah. So like, you know, if we're going to replace it with things to our preference anyway, that's, you know, that's easier on us to just have a blank canvas to work from. But the, uh, I think the big one and the one you had to run down for um, <laughs> was the, the fireplace. Um, I don't know which the, the front cover glass, um, they ripped it off. <laughs> they, yeah, they, off. they took the entire front piece off of the fireplace i've never seen that before <laughs> yeah and then i think they were arguing that we were kind of uh silly to want it i believe saying that like it doesn't it wasn't meant to go there and they put it in um but it's funny because like in the going back to the photos from the listing they had a fire going, demonstrating that the fireplace, you know, is functional. Uh, but then they came back and said, like, you know, it's not, it's not safe. You can't use it. So it's, you know, it's funny that they used that argument after the fact. Yeah. Well, I, I can see maybe a little bit for that, just because photographers will actually go back and edit a fire into the into the photo. Sure. But yeah, still, I was like, there is just no conceivable way. Because, yeah, it's affixed to the property. Like, you had to, like, right. detach it and run off with it. I was like, what are you doing? Sure. And then, and then, yeah, I mean, I, I just had a talk with the, with the broker for the, uh, for the other side and just said, okay, look, at the stroke of midnight or whenever this property becomes, you know, Greg and, and Bethany's, <clears throat> um, essentially all the personal items becomes legally theirs at that point. And there's going to be a big garage sale in here. So I'm thinking a uh, discount. We could probably get about 200 for that couch, 300 for the bed over there. That's a 
creepy safari stuffed animal over there. So I think eh, about 50 bucks or so just to get rid of it and started listing stuff out. And that seemed to motivate them a little bit. But no, I remember um, it was the it was the final walkthrough before closing. Yeah. And I think you guys were signing at two o'clock in the afternoon. If I recall correctly, oh, we show up yeah. around 10 or so just to give ourselves enough time to um, kind of look around, check everything. And yeah, that front piece in the fireplace was just gone. And I couldn't get in, get a contact with the listing agent, couldn't get a con in contact with the, the broker. Um, eventually we got through to them and just explained, yeah, so, you know, enough's enough and get this. I'm taking the front to the fireplace. Okay. Where are you? I'm meeting you. And I drive across yeah. town. <laughs> And get it from them from from where they're at. And I got to say, that was it felt like a hostage exchange situation, uh, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it felt like, yeah, like you stole you stole something from us uh, and using it like a, yeah, like a hostage. Like, come on. <laughs> it was yeah, it's like hard. this so could have been an easy process. What are you guys doing? <laughs> right, right. And I think uh, what you said, their excuse was uh, something to the effect of they bought it for the property so it was theirs yeah um so you know i you know <laughs> there are many things that you can say and i'm sure they took most of the things that you know they uh they purchased but like come on <laughs> really want to a fireplace are you serious <laughs> right uh and you know the the dollar value is so small but at that point it became a, a game of principle like what are you doing like you know like yes this belongs with the property but you know come on why did you make it <laughs> yeah and i gotta say like you guys without a doubt were the most patient people that i've worked with um i i can probably speak for myself under the same circumstances i don't think i would have been able to handle it with as much uh much poise and as much grace as you guys did so you know, hats off to you <laughs> on handling well, I mean, it that, that well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at that point, you know, luckily, you know, your role is to be the mediator between uh, <laughs> the other party. So um, I'm, I'm sure it wouldn't have been a much different uh, result, but, you know, kind of glad that you're there to, you know, handle that and, and deal with that as part of your job, you know, in the transaction um you know speaking on our behalf but yeah appreciate it thank you Thanks.